It looks like an ordinary day in the USA, but in the city of Flint, Michigan, all is excitement. Teamwork, teamwork. It was a fabric of life. I didn't set my alarm clock. I woke up by the factory whistle from this plant. The auto industry was born here. This community thrived on industry. So hoist those flags on high, blow those whistles. But with all of its greatness, there was a price. I read GM had stopped using the water in their paint plant because the water was corroding their pipes. What about the rest of us? When I got off the expressway, I was speechless. All along here, and there was nothing. This area has the largest body of fresh water in the world. How can we have tainted water? Children are the most susceptible to lead exposure. It's slowly deposited in liver and other organs, but unfortunately, most at risk is the brain of a child. Uh, children who have lead in their blood, that stays with them for their entire life. My son, he has lead in his system. Because their brain isn't capturing that information. They start to itch. Every time I brush my hair, it comes out in hands. Decisions were made at a governmental level based on profit and not based on the people. And this is how much our water bill is every month. And he said, you're giving the city that amount of money to poison you? Someone referred to the children as the lead people. It is a way that people are dehumanized, pushed to the side. It was shocking to me. When you go in the hospital, that whole floor was full of people. Good guy that got heart disease, kidney <laughs> disease, lupus. Both my kidneys are, are out and fail. You see these things happen on TV, and you just kind of turn the TV on. But when you have to live it every day, it becomes lonely and isolating, and you do feel forgotten. You sweep it under the rug, everybody shuts up, you drink the water, and you pay for it in the future. The system here is, is telling you that you're not worth anything. You're just a guinea pig. You have 100,000 people impacted. That's a disaster. This is our normal life, and it's not. This is not normal. Eventually you give up, and that's what they're hoping everybody in Flint's gonna do is just give up. The ruling establishment knows how to grind you down to a whisper. Then they totally remove your voice. And the voices that need to be heard right now are silent. Flint is the beginning of the disasters that could affect hundreds of communities across our nation as a result of globalization and post-industrialization. Water is going to cost more than what people are gonna be able to afford one day. Like this isn't supposed to be happening to us in America.